Oh, cool. I love it. Cocktail time. Cool. Well, this is a good test. I installed this widget gadget on my desktop, which shows a inconspicuous little monitor of what the camera is seeing. <coughs> and I've taped over the light. So my friend Crazy Jack can't see that it's on. He always looks. Always says, you tape it, you record. It's like, well, Jack, it shouldn't matter if you ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. But anyway, he's got that special education. And anyway, ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah. Five o'clock, time to start thinking about dinner and the hive. Yesterday was my monthly VCon shopping day, and I am well stocked. And Crazy Jack has been here once already and seen what I've got, you know. Then later on when he gets hungry and he's already spent all his money on beer and whatever, <laughs> <laughs> he comes a knocking to see if I'll feed him, and depending on what he can give me in return, you know, THC, good for the cells. Uh, so anyway, what am I doing? I don't know, I'm just letting the camera run. And <coughs> Stephen Carr and Claire Garrett 
appeared before Judge Patrick Binns today, accused of making explosive devices by placing cleaning supplies in foil. Idiots, idiots, idiots. Those bubbles exploded on Hickory Street Tuesday morning. Each suspect has bonds set at more than $93,000. The death of a Marymount teenager, Colin Barton, has prompted lots of conversations about what if. What if he had called home for a ride? What if he hadn't lied to his parents? Nine News anchor Tanya O'Rourke joins us now with why conversation among families is exactly what Barton's father, Sean, wants. Tanya, Carolyn Pye, Sean Barton made that abundantly clear yesterday when he spoke to the media, that his son's death may just be an opportunity for the rest of us. And I'm certain there are conversations between kids and parents at dinner tables all over the tri-state going on since police found Colin's body on the side of the road. Here's some of what Mr. Barton's parents did along with an expert's advice. My name is Sean Barton and I'd like to talk a little bit about the loss of my son, Colin. Try to make something positive out of it. With incredible frankness, Sean Barton laid out the issues that, in part, led to his son, Colin's death, and how he wants you to stop it from happening to your child, starting with accepting that kids, all kids, lie. Da-da-da-da. Say to some adults. Say to a lot of adults. Colin's a great kid. Ask anybody, they'll tell you. His friends are great kids. And they lie too. It took a while to piece the story together. It's because they're afraid to get in trouble. Connie Frecking of the Brighton Center works with teens and parents. She says you should start talking about honesty early and often. Early and often. Oh, yeah. It's best for them to come forth and be honest. They need to be honest, not just for you, but for themselves. Oh, right. He didn't follow his instinct and say no to Colin about going for a sleepover on Saturday. Parents, be strong. Don't be afraid to say no. Kids, be strong. Don't be afraid to say no to your friends. Frecking agrees. She says adolescents need more guidance and parameters than you probably imagine. You need to help them keep honest. They say they're going to a party. Call that place where the party is. Talk with the people who is going to sponsor it. They may be upset with you that you're checking up on them, but down deep, they know that you care about them. Oh, yes. They will. They do. In other words, as we say in my house, trust but verify. There is plenty more advice from Connie Frecking. It's on our website, WCPO.com. It is along with Sean Barton's comments in their entirety. And those comments, as a parent, I can tell you, worth watching, Carol. Absolutely. Sad lesson to learn, Tanya. Thanks. Cincinnati businessman and Oh, right. That is He was 90 years old. According to the Mayor's Foundation, he died this morning, surrounded by his family. Mayerson was a resident of the Amberley Village community. Funeral services are Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock at Adith Israel on East Galbraith Road. New information tonight on that controversial Florida case in which a neighborhood watch volunteer killed. 